Greetings, my fellow humanoid dwellers. I create videos on technology and other random things. If you like this video, you might like others. If you don't like this video, you still might like others. Consider subscribing to my channel or checking out my Patreon page. If you already subscribe, hit that bell. In this video, I'm going to show you how to configure FileZilla so we can transfer files back and forth between the Raspberry Pi and the computer. This will come in handy as the web pages that we write get longer and longer. It will be easier to do it in an editor on the computer rather than I'm using the Nano on the Raspberry Pi. First thing I did was I went into my documents on the PC and I set up a directory called Raspberry Pi Web and at this point it's empty. I'm going to use FileZilla in my example you can feel free to use any FTP software that you want. Files of the main screen looks like this when you open it up. If I just click on my documents, I should be able to find the Raspberry Pi web directory. Open that, and that puts me here. Now we need to go ahead and set up the parameters that we'll use to connect to the Raspberry Pi. You'll go up to this button right up here, which is your site manager. Click on it. Then you'll go to add a new site. So got a new site. I'm going to call this one the Raspberry Pi. We're going to use SFTP, which is SSH File Transfer Protocol. We'll put in the IP address, the port is 22. I'm going to have it ask for the password every time. Username is pi. And that's it. So now all we have to do is connect. Password for me is raspberry. You want to keep this checked because this will maintain the connection as long as FileZilla is open. If you close it, you'll have to go ahead and re-enter your password. What it does on the Raspberry Pi, which is on this side, is it takes you to your home directory, which the root is up here, and then home, and then the user is Pi. So what we want to do is we want to go to the web directory. If you click on this double dots, it will take you back one directory. If you click again, it will take you back to the, to the base directory. Then we're going to go to var, www, and html. If you remember, we created a PHP file so that we could make sure that PHP was working. If I drag this over to here, and I go ahead and I minimize this screen. You'll see that now it's up here. If I right click on it, we can open with our notepad. And all it is is this one line of code. What we're going to do is we're going to create another file in here. Text document. And we're going to call it Hello World. But we will have to change it from a TXT file to a .html file. Go ahead and change the type, that's okay. Now we're going to open it with Notepad. And we're just going to simply put in Hello world. We're going to save it, close it, go back to FileZilla. You may have to refresh the page by tapping F5, and then it will show up. Drag it from the left side over to the right side, and it will transfer to the Raspberry Pi. Now in order to test the connection, 
now we'll go ahead and put a forward slash and we'll put in the file that we just created and it should say hello world on the screen and it does so now in this lesson we've learned how to transfer files between the Raspberry Pi and the PC and back and forth now as we start to write some web pages that deal with some of the uh, things that we've learned this should come in helpful in the last lesson we learned how to use the RS-232 port and that's so we can access real-world data in one of the next lessons we're going to go over collecting temperature and we're going to try and plot it using canvas which we've also learned a little bit about that's about it for right now thanks for watching